Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 19 through 39. Now then, send and gather to me all Israel at Mount Carmel, together with 450 prophets of Baal and 400 prophets of the Asherah, who eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent a message among all the sons of Israel and brought the prophets together at Mount Carmel. Elijah came near to all the people and said, How long will you hesitate between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him, but if Baal, follow him. But the people did not answer him a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are four hundred and fifty men. Now let them give us two oxen, and let them choose one ox for themselves, and cut it up and place it on the wood, but put no fire under it. And I will prepare the other ox and lay it on the wood, and I will not put a fire under it. Then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God who answers by fire, He is God. And all the people said, That is a good idea. So Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one ox for yourselves, and prepare it first, for you are many, and call on the name of your God, but put no fire under it. Then they took the ox, which was given them, and they prepared it, and called on the name of Baal from morning until noon, saying, O Baal, answer us. But there was no voice, and no one answered. And they leaped about the altar, which they made. It came about at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Call out with a loud voice, for he is a god. Either he is occupied or gone aside, or is on a journey, or perhaps he is asleep and needs to be awakened. So they cried with a loud voice and cut themselves, according to their custom, with swords and lances until the blood gushed out on them. When midday was past, they raved until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, but there was no voice, no one answered, and no one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me. So all the people came near to him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord, which had been torn down. Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. So with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench around the altar, large enough to hold two measures of seed. Then he arranged the wood, and cut the ox in pieces, and laid it on the wood. And he said, Fill four pitchers with water, and pour it on the burnt offering, and on the wood. And he said, do it a second time, and they did it a second time. And he said, Do it a third time, and they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar, and also filled the trench with water. At the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, Elijah the prophet came near and said, O Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, Today, let it be known that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, and I have done all these things at your word. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, O Lord, are God, and that you have turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. God has given us the privilege of calling on Him for all we need. What's more, He's promised to respond. He also encourages us to petition Him on behalf of others. And Scripture tells us that the prayers of a righteous person can accomplish much. And a righteous person, one who can pray powerfully, is one who has accepted God's offer of salvation. Before redemption, we are unrighteous people under His judgment. But once we place faith in Jesus, we're made new and declared holy. 
we can then pray with confidence as we align our prayers with His will. Let's look at Elijah. The Lord sent him to defeat and humiliate the evil king Ahab and the 450 prophets of Baal. This was a spiritual conflict to prove who was the real God, Baal or the Lord of Israel. Elijah's weapons were his knowledge of the Heavenly Father's plan and the authority he had in prayer as a prophet of God. His request that Jehovah would make himself known, voiced publicly before his opponents, matched the Lord's will. See 1 Kings 18, verse 37. And when God responded to Elijah's prayer, the people declared, The Lord, He is God. If you've accepted God's offer of salvation, He's adopted you as a son or daughter. Are you a child of God? If so, you can pray with spiritual might as you make requests that are in agreement with His will.